the book the book of Isaiah chapter 3 for behold the Lord the Lord of hosts doeth take away from Jerusalem and from Judah the stay and the staff the whole stay of bread and the whole stay of water the mighty man and the man of war the judge and the prophet and the prudent and the ancient the captain of fifty and the honorable man and the counselor and the cunning artifier and the equivalent orator and i will give children to be their prince princes and babes shall rule over them and people shall be oppressed everyone by another and everyone by his neighbor the child shall behave himself proudly against the ancient and the base against the honorable when a man shall take hold of his brother of the house of his father saying thou hast clothing be thou our ruler and let this room be under thy hand in that day shall he swear saying i will not be an healer for in my house is neither bread nor clothing make me not a ruler of the people for jerusalem is ruined and judah is fallen because their tongue and their doings are against the lord to provoke the eyes of his glory the show of their countenance doeth witness against them and they declare their sin as sodom they hide it not woe unto their soul for they have rewarded evil unto themselves say ye to the righteous that ye shall be well with him for they shall eat the fruit of their doings woe unto the wicked it shall be ill with him, for the reward of his hands shall be given him. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O oh, my people, they which lead thee, they which lead thee, cause thee to err, and destroy the way of thy paths. The Lord, the Lord, standeth up to plead and stand it to judge the people the lord will enter into judgment with the ancients of his people and the princes thereof for each for ye have eaten up the vineyard the spoil of the poor is in your houses what mean ye that ye beat my people to pieces and grind their faces of the poor saith the lord god of hosts moreover the lord saith because the daughters of zion are whole are haunty and walk with this with with stretched four necks and waiting eyes walking and and mincing as and menacing as they go and making a tinkling with their feet therefore the lord will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of zion and the lord will discover their secret parts in that day the Lord will take away the bravery of their tinkling <coughs> or <coughs> ornaments about their feet and their claws and their round t tires like the moon, the chains, the bracelets and the mufflers, the bonnets and the ornaments of the legs and the headbands and the tablets and their earrings and their earrings the rings and nose jewels the changeable suits of apparel and the mantles and the wimples and the crisping pins the glasses the fine linen and the hoods and the veils and it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smile there shall be stink and instead of a girdle a rent and instead of well set hair baldness and instead of a instead of a stomacher a girding a girding a girding of sack 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 cloth and burning instead of beauty thy men shall fall by the sword and thy mighty in the wall and her gates shall lament and mourn and she being desolate shall sit upon the ground chapter 4 and in that day seven women 
seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread, and wear our own apparel, and only, <clears throat> only let us be called by thy name, to take away our reproach. In that day shall the branch of the Lord be beautiful and glorious, and the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and comely for them that are escaped of Israel. And it shall come to pass that he that is left in Zion, and he that remaineth in Jerusalem, shall be called holy, even every one that is written among the living in Jerusalem, when the Lord shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion, and shall have purged, purged the blood of Jerusalem from the midst thereof by the spirit of judgment, and by the spirit of burning. And the Lord will create upon every dwelling place of Mount Zion, and upon her assemblies, a cloud and a smoke by day, and the shining of a flaming fire by night. For upon all the glory shall be a defense, and there shall be a tabernacle for a shadow in the daytime from the heat, and for a place of refuge, and for, for a covert from storm and from rain. <clears throat> Chapter 5 now will I sing to my well-beloved a song of my, of my beloved touching his vineyard. My well-beloved hath, hath a vineyard in a very fruitful hill, and he fenced it, and gathered out the stones thereof, and, plant, and planted with the choicest wine, and built a tower in the midst of it, and also made a wine press therein, and he looked that it should bring forth grapes, and it brought forth wild grapes. And now, O inhabitants of Jerusalem, and men of Judah, judge, I pray you, bet wixit me, <laughs> bet wixit me and my vineyard. What could have been done more to my vineyard that I have not done in it? Wherefore, we are looked that it should bring forth grapes, brought it forth wild grapes. And now go to, I will tell you what I will do to my vineyard. I will take away the hedge thereof, and it shall be eaten up, and break down the wall thereof, and it shall be trodden down, and I will lay it waste. It shall not be pruned, it shall not be pruned, nor digged. But there shall come up burrows and thorns. I will also command the clouds that they rain no rain upon it, upon it. For the vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel, and the men of Judah his pleasant plant. And he looked for judgment, but behold, oppression for righteousness, but behold, a cry. Woe unto them that join house to house, that they lay field to field, till there be no place, that they may be placed alone in the midst of the earth. <clears throat> in time, in my years, said the Lord of hosts, of a truly, of a truth, many houses shall be desolate, even great and fair, without inhabitant. Ye, ten. <clears throat> Acres of vineyards shall yield one bath, and the seed of a homer shall yield an aphia. <coughs> Woe unto that rise up early in the morning, that they may follow strong drinks, that they continue until night, to wine inflame them, and the harp, and the veal, and the <coughs> tabret, and pipe and wine are in their feasts, but they regard no work, they regard not the work of the Lord, neither consider the operation of his hands. Therefore my people are gone into captivity, because 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 they have no knowledge, and their honorable men are famished, and their multitude dried up with thirst. Therefore hell hath enlarged herself, and opened her mouth without measure, and their glory, and their multitude, 
and their pomp, and he that rejoiceth shall descend into it, and the mean man shall be brought down, and the mighty man shall be humbled. And the eyes of the lofty shall be humbled, but the Lord of hosts shall be exalted in judgment, and God that is holy shall be sanctified in righteousness. Then shall the lambs feed after their manner, and the waste places of fat ones shall strangers eat. Woe unto them that draw iniquity with cords of vanity, and sin as it were with a cart rope, that say, Let him make speed, and hasten his work, that we may see it, and let the counsel of the Holy One of Israel draw nigh, and come, that we may know it. Woe unto them that call evil good, and good evil, that put darkness for light, and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet, and sweet for bitter. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes, and prudent in their own sight. Woe unto them that are mighty to drink wine, and men of strength to mingle strong drink, which justify the wicked for reward, and take away the righteousness of the righteous from him. Therefore, as the fire de devoureth the, the stubble, and the flame consumeth the the, um, the chaff, so their root shall be as rottenness, and their blossom, their blossom shall go up as dust, because they have cast away the law of the Lord of hosts, and despised the word of the Holy One of Israel. Therefore is the anger of the Lord kindled against his people, and he hath stretched forth his hands against his hand against him and hath smitten them, and the hills did tremble, and their carcasses were torn in the midst of the streets. For all this his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still, and he will lift up an ensign to the nations from far, and will his unto them from the end of the earth. And behold, they shall come with speed swiftly. None shall be weary nor stumble among them. None shall slumber nor sleep. Neither shall the, gir uh, the girdle of their loins be loosed, nor the latchet of their shoes be broken, whose arrows are sharp and all their, uh, all their bows bent. Their horses' hoofs shall be counted like flint, and their wheels like a whirlwind. Their roaring shall be like a lion. They shall roar like young lions, ye. They shall roar and lay hold of the prey, and shall carry it away safe, and none shall deliver it. And in that day they shall roar against them like the roaring of the sea. And if one look unto the land, behold, darkness and sorrow, and the light is darkened in the heavens thereof. Jesus, sorry if, I, if my, my voice sounds highly weakened. Well, still, nevertheless, I managed to, to have the hemorrhoid, the hemorrhoids you know, re removed. And I feel, you know, right as rain though still yeah extremely exhausted so if you guys can ex excuse me for now i will continue to read the bible especially king james version so long as i'm still breathing yeah thanks again for watching listening and cheers bye bye take care